Uh, where do you tend to go? Do you tend to avoid or do you, t sorry, do you tend to implode or explode? What's, where do you tend to go? So for those of you that tend to implode, I don't even need to explain it. People know what they do. And those of you that tend to explode, yeah. So we all have a, a kind of a go-to. What we want to be able to do is express. Yes, and who does both? <laughs> who just wanders between them effortlessly? Yeah. So, um, yeah, we, what we want to be able to do is express and have our minds stay open. And when we're talking about an open mind, what we're talking about is the capacity to know that we want to explode or that we feel frustrated or that we feel angry or we are envious but not have that be in the driver's seat of our behaviour. And that's where the witness comes in. So you can notice that your thoughts are horribly envious because someone else is more gorgeous than you or somebody else is thinner than you or somebody else is eating the lamington and they're thinner than you. <laughs> All right? You can notice that and not act on it and still go up to that person and be as kind and as open and as vulnerable as you would be with somebody who looks or behaves similar to you. So we don't want to let those behaviours be in the driver's seat. And when our mind is closed because we are defensive or in any one of those areas of defensiveness, that then limits our behaviour. So if our, if our heart is closed or if our heart is only half open or only open some of the time with some of the people on some of the topics um, and our mind is in a defensive space, then our behaviour becomes very, very limited, which is what I want to talk to you about now.